Hello there, W5DPH here. I want to do a quick FT8 demonstration here. I want to show you how easy it is to get set up and run FT8 on a Mac using the SDR control for ICOM software. As you can see on your screen, I already have the software installed. Uh, we'll have to make another video on how to uh, install it and get your radio set up. But for the time being, I'm just going to connect to my ICOM 7610. You can see my network here. And I'm just going to hit connect. This is all done over Wi-Fi, by the way. This is on my laptop. Uh, this software also operates on um, an iPad. So you can see we're on the 20 meter band already. Um, the uh, You're not hearing any audio, I have it muted, but I'll go ahead and unmute it. And you can uh, see the uh, and hear the audio. Now I do have the audio turned down a little bit so it's not overpowering uh, what I'm saying, but you can kind of hear it in the background. I'll turn it up a little bit for you. You can see we're on the 14300 there. But that's not where we're going to be today. So uh, where we're going to be is over on FT8. I'll turn it back up a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and mute it for demonstration purposes. All right. So we're going to uh, pull up FT8. You won't be able to see it on your screen, but uh, there's a tool bar up at the top. Or you can hit Command-8. This brings up FT8. You can see we're already in the 20 meter band. FT8, all you do to start this is hit RX. The radio will automatically switch to the proper FT8 frequencies. I might also add that you can work FT4 on this. So it is receiving. I'll unmute the audio. You can hear it. Several stations out there already this morning. Here in a minute we'll answer one of these um, CQs here. Um, I you normally operate around 20% power, so that's about 20 watts, and we'll wait for a, a stronger signal to come in. We probably could have got this Puerto Rico station here, but you can hear that. I'm probably going to go ahead and turn uh, this down just a little bit. We'll get we'll we'll pick one on the next one. Gonna go ahead and mute that. Okay. Minus two, Canada. Alright, you can see we're gonna transmit over here. You can see that over on your screen. It's, it's sending the signals right now. Of course, I'm sitting in front of the radio as well, and I can see that it is transmitting. You have all of your meters here, your power output, your SWR, all that good stuff. You don't have to worry about your mic or any of that stuff that's all set. Uh, the software takes care of all of that for you. All right, it's already answered by someone else. So we will just uncheck this and we will just, uh, we'll wait and see if we can uh, uh, get another one here in just a second. Ah, here's a POTA station. We'll go ahead and try to get him real quick. K4HXM Kilo 4 Hotel X-Ray. Mexico operating portable there all right you can see we sent him a message here we're calling him giving him our grid square typical FT8 all right so he's still calling CQ he must not be able to hear us or if he is might be down in the noise, who knows. I usually like to operate around 1500, so I'm gonna change that to 1500. When he comes back, it will automatically change back to his receive frequency, but uh, just in case he can hear us on a different frequency. There we go. So you may have heard it in the background. Uh, it gives you an audible alert. Okay, we're coming to him plus seven, and we're replying to him um, with his signal report of minus one.
Very good. We are now done with this QSO. Uh, we'll give him 73, and at the end of this right here, we will be done with the QSO. Now I might need to, uh, I also would like to add that um, the software automatically logs your QSO. So we've got our QSO logged in here. So you don't have to do anything, and you can export this in Kerberos format or ADIF or however you want to import it into your. Uh, other uh, software, uh, logging software is fine. Okay, so when you're done, you just exit out of your FT8 window. It'll go back to there, uh, your main uh, screen. Um, you can uh, uh, make QSOs on sideband, however you want. It doesn't matter, whatever you want to do. And um, I might add one caveat with this software. You should not just exit the software. Uh, you need to power off your radio with this button here or disconnect or the software will kind of glitch. There's a little glitch here. But if you do that, you won't have any problems. You'll see the screen goes back blank. And uh, now we, we're, we're done. And so that's how easy it is to make an FT8 contact on a Mac with the SDR control software for ICOM. All right, thanks for watching.